it is within the formatting area of visualization pane that you get to really practice the act of what you see is what you get there are quite a lot of options available for formatting and the only real way you can actually get familiar with all of them is to explore and find them out yourself but i'm going to go through a couple of options here for us to see where the most essential and the most popular formatting options can be found so the x axis like we have said earlier basically contains the horizontal labels you have in your chart so if i expand the x axis now you will see that i have options to change a couple of things from changing the range uh, the minimum range to the maximum range so let's say that i would like to increase the sizes of these labels i basically have to come to my x axis expand the x axis if i scroll down a little bit i'm going to see an option for values when i expand the values option i can see the type of font that is being used and i can see the size of the font so if i want to make this like size 12 i'll change that number to 12 and you see my x axis labels is now bigger and if i scroll down i will see other options to change the color for example and even change the display units again you have to remember this is a perfect de definition of what you see is what you get so for example i've got display units currently showing as auto if i click on the drop down to see the options we have you will see that i can basically change the display units from the current uh, automatically selected ones to something else right now the numbers are displaying in millions but i can change that to thousands for example okay and you see the x axis currently shows a title sum of sales right now if i don't want that when i scroll down a little bit here you can see where i see the title of the x axis since i currently have the x axis um expanded here these are all the options that i have on that x axis for the changes i can make and i can just tick off this title from on to off so let's go and see whether we have similar option on the y axis so when i expand the y axis first thing that appears to me here is the values which are the labels on my y axis this is labels on my y axis i can change the font size here as well to size number 12 and if i scroll down a little bit here you will see that we have something called maximum area width this is something that you can use to control the width of your x axis i mean your y axis rather in the event where you have longer labels i'll probably show you an example as we create more visuals so when you look at the size of this y axis the distance between the beginning of the chart on the left hand side and where the bar starts so you can use this maximum area with basically to increase the size of that area which is going to adjust the space available for the labels to be displayed so another thing you will also note is that there are certain options in the formatting that have toggles that means you can put them on and you can put them off so when you put it off it simply means it's not going to be displayed and when you put it on it means it's going to be displayed so for example i can go and put on the toggle for zoom slider and you will immediately see that i now have a slider on the chart that i can use to adjust the range of numbers that we like to see right so i can use this to adjust the range this way and it's going to display only from a certain number up until the end i'm just going to turn this back off then we can see a section for the bars if i expand the section for bars i'm going to say the default color and this is where i can basically change the color of these bars to a different color and if i wanted to change the colors of the bars separately what i will have to do is to toggle on show all option here i'm going to see the colors for each one of the bars and i can basically just make a change to any one of them or a couple of them okay so another option here that is also popularly used is data labels i can toggle on the data labels and you are going to see the values appear in front of each of the bars and when i basically expand these data labels i see options for other things i can do about the data labels for example we have the option to set the position of the label is currently on auto and i can decide to put it maybe in the inside base of course it also comes with option for the values which when i expand the values i'm going to see where i can change the font size from 
the default to a different font size. Usually in data visualization, if you have data labels on, then you are going to want to put off the other axis that displays the numbers. So right now I have my data labels on on this chart. I'm going to have to put off the X axis that displays the numbers. So I'm going to toggle this X axis off. Then the other popular thing as well that you will always want to make adjustments for is the title. Now remember, the title is not something that is 100% driven by the data. So for you to change the title, you will have to go to the general tab and then you can come to title. I'm going to expand the title option and I can change the title from this box, right? So I'm just going to make this something like total revenue by region. So I can click inside the box. I'm going to press Ctrl A on my keyboard to highlight everything. Then I can type to override what is currently there. So that's total revenue by region. You can make other changes to the title, like the color, like the font size, like the alignments, etc. Then you also have effects. So when I expand effects, that's where you can put on the background for the visual or change the color of the background. So I'm going to change the color of this background, for example, from white to, to a different color. It doesn't really make sense, so I'm just going to revert back to white then there is also an option for you to apply borders to the chart so i'm going to put on borders just for you to see what it looks like so when you have borders on the chart you get to see the lines surrounding the chart right then the other option that i personally prefer to use always is to enable shadow on my visual so i'm going to put on shadow and this is the effect you have for it of course for majority of all of these options that you can toggle on and toggle off you will also see that they are expandable for you to select other variations of how you want to apply them finally if you are not sure of the exact option you are looking for you can use the search button here to type in something and you may have suggestions if there are options that matches your search criteria so for example if i want to change something about fonts i can just type in fonts here and I'm going to see all the font options that we have. The font option for my title, the font option for my tooltips. If I scroll up, I'm going to see the font option for my data labels. If I keep on scrolling up, I'm going to see the font options on my X axis and my Y axis. And if it's colors I'm trying to change, I can change this and type in color with the American spelling of color. And I'm going to see all options that have to do with colors.